I'm Sridhar Dharmarajan, Executive Vice President and Managing Director for Hexagon Manufacturing Intelligence in India. And I'm, I'm going to spend the next few minutes talking on design and development through smart connected manufacturing. One of the reasons why I'm using the word smart connected manufacturing and not just smart manufacturing is ultimately the part is produced by the design department, by the manufacturing department, by the inspection department, the production department. So we need to ensure that we have all the divisions within the organization uh, become intelligent, make it smarter, and you know connect all these divisions through finite ways so that the data can be sh shared across all these divisions and we can produce the part, the optimum quality part at the shortest time and get it right the first time. So this is the reason why I really want to call it as a smart connected manufacturing and just not smart manufacturing. So just to give you a brief of Hexagon, if you look at the Hexagon tagline, a we empower an autonomous future. Hexagon is not like any other company that you know. What's unique about us is a portfolio of sensor, software, and autonomous solution. Okay? There is no company out there with a similar mix. Empowering an autonomous future is what we want to give it back to the industry. And let me explain what I mean by that. If we really look at it, the way we have moved from industry 1.0 to 4.0, we started off with mechanization, mass production, we automated the processes, we connected the, the different divisions, you know, and going from autonomy, automation to autonomy is autonomy is nothing but cognitive automation, essentially an intelligent automation. So what I mean by that is, can the machine which is already generating a lot of data, can it put the data to use by itself and take some decisions based on the processes, based on the previous uh, outcomes that it has gone through? So we want to ensure that we are able to build a factory which can be run with a fewer number of people out there than with what is happening today especially during this COVID times where we are under, under a pressure to really manufacture with less number of people in the factory. And we, we cannot avoid, uh, we are, you know, we have to avoid a lot of people in the factory. So this is what we are focused on. This is the ultimate form of putting the data to work, which leads to the greatest gains in efficiency, quality, and productivity, which are the outcomes our customers seek. Just to give you a perspective, uh, each year, Hexagon technology touches about 95% of the cars produced, 90% of the aircraft produced, and 85% of the smartphones produced. So we are into the areas of smart buildings, smart nations, smart factories, smart agriculture, smart mining, smart manufacturing as well, and smart mobility. So if you really look at it, autonomous vehicles, Hexagon itself builds on an average about 40 autonomous vehicles every month, and we engage over 3,000 customers in this space. So we are one of the leaders in the autonomous mobility as well. Now coming to the farm solution, we not only help in designing and manufacturing the farm equipment, which is a tractors, harvester, and many of these com large, large companies like Caterpillar, John Deere, who use our technology. We also help in the farm itself. We also help the farmer to optimize its yields, getting higher yields with, with lower cost, reducing the waste. And these are the, some of the things that we really kind of work on. How can we help the farmer to ensure that if we, he takes the right decisions as to when he should actually sow the seeds, when he should harvest the crop, in which areas should he actually kind of uh, uh, you know, throw the pesticides? How does he throw the pesticides, whether through a drone or any other application? we could actually help them to take a decision on that. Take a step back. Uh, Cap Gemini tells us that in the last 30 years, the compounded average growth rate for quality has just been 0.44% and productivity is 0.74%. I repeat, it's not 44 or 74, it is 0.44 and 0.74. And in the same paper, they say that in the next five years, they believe that the quality is going to go up by 5.13%, and productivity is going to go up by 5.04%, essentially 12x improvement in quality and 7x improvement in productivity. And this is going to happen through the smart factory initiatives. And that is the prediction. And I believe in that prediction too. So by the end of 2023, they predict that half of the factories would be smart with the increased productivity gains added to about $1.5 trillion to the global economy. This is really phenomenal. 
So to manufacturers, I would say, cannot simply afford to miss this opportunity. And to remain competitive, we need to get started with a digital transformation. And that means starting to make the whole process smarter today. If you really look at it, uh, one more uh, data point coming from Capgemini is they say that some of the challenges for companies to implement this industry 4.0 is they kind of say that only 14% today are successful in implementing some of these initiatives. So we did a survey and understood where's the gap. Why is, why is only 14% successful today? We kind of realized that the gap is mainly in the ITOT convergence. We need to really increase the skill, reskill, upskill the people in the organization. And the integration is just not bi-directional. It has to be multi-directional. Engineering to manufacturing, manufacturing to maintenance. And ultimately, how do we increase the efficiency by design and the effectiveness of the operation? And how do you really kind of achieve this? We achieve this moving the automation from the automation pyramid to a smart, smart pyramid. So at the bottom of the pyramid, it's extremely important. We do a digital process transformation and will finally help to create a cognitive engineering evolution and help us to design a, a, the best quality part in the shortest time frame, essentially getting it right the first time. And how do you do it? So we need to ensure that the design department, the manufacturing department, the quality department are all connected together and we learn from the data generated by each of these departments. So if you really look at it, what is the how do you define the quality of the part? Quality of the part, if you really look at it, one is what is the surface finish? What the, there's a perceived quality. How does the part look like? This essentially comes from the manufacturing part of the world. And what is the uh, per performance quality? So from where does the performance quality comes into play? From the design and engineering part of the world. Does the part really behave the way it is expected to behave? Does the part really perform the way it is expected to perform? So the designer takes care of that. So the designer may say, I produce the best quality, design the best quality part. The manufacturing may say, I manufacture the best quality part. The quality department or the measurement department or the inspection department will actually say, the proof of the pudding is in the eating and he's going to really kind of measure and say, what is the tolerance and the quality of the part that is actually manufactured? So we need to ensure that we help the customer to have your as designed part, as manufactured part, as measured part, one and the same. Can you really help the customer? Yes. Hexagon is the only company which can help the customer to ensure that their as designed part, as manufactured part, as measured part is one and the same. Because we have solutions not only in the design and engineering department, manufacturing department, and the inspection of the measurement department, but we are also connecting all the three departments through a, through a, through a digital thread and helping to ensure that we actually learn and we have a feedback and learning exercise between all these three departments. So if you look at it, the Hexagon Smart Manufacturing is a seamless combination of the physical and the digital world. I would really like to call Hexagon as a digital company because we work at the physical space as well as in the digital space. So we need to ensure that we have a digital twin for every process, every item in the physical world, in the digital world. And we kind of work in the digital world design, modify, enhance the whole process in the digital world and come back and implement in the physical world. And all these we do under the Hexagon Smart Factory platform. And we have our own IoT platform called Exalt, which is embedded within this platform. Just to expand this whole process a bit, I would really like to take this smart connected manufacturing, manufacturing and put it into the Hexagon format. You know. So I would want to take the smart connected manufacturing into this various department, which is design and validation, manufacturing validation, the operations, manufacturing operations, the integrated enterprise operation, the inspection of, and finally the analytics and the air. So what do we do in, with, the, with all these uh, different departments together? We want to enable a cognitive engineering evolution, a, essentially cognitive automation or autonomy as I really kind of talk about through digital twins and is helping through a digital transformation of all the operations integrated in the enterprise where we learn at every stage and we incorporate this. So if you really look at the design and the validation aspect, you know, this is the dynamic behavior of one of the farm equipment out there. This is the physical world and this is a digital world. So we have a digital twin. We can simulate this whole process, the ride and handling of the, in the various, uh, you know, in the various conditions in the field, 
there's a flat terrain with a lot of uh, you know obstacles out there or it, or if it is a slope terrain you can simulate this entire exercise in the digital world we have the technology today the hardware and the software to really help you to simulate all the complex physics that is really happening in the digital in the real world so today you don't really have to kind of uh, worry about because the hardware technology has progressed so much the entire physics and the mathematics behind this whole simulation so if we really look at the msc software which is one of the divisions within the hexagon manufacturing intelligence the tagline is um, you know simulate reality and deliver certainty so we can simulate the realistic behavior of any physics anything that is happening whether it's a you know thermal department structural department the vehicle dynamics department all these things can be simulated the acoustics department as well so coming to the manufacturing uh, simulation whether it is welding out there or it is uh, you know the traditional manufacturing we can have a digital twin we can simulate the whole manufacturing process and we can real time monitor it and start editing it the tool paths can automatically get edited out there so if you really look at the the video in the bottom below you the you have seen the tool path in the digital world and you are seeing the actual tool machining happening in the physical world and we can dynamically change depending on if you are not really happy the way the tool is progressing in this whole manufacturing process as well so this is the manufacturing validation aspect of it now coming to the manufacturing aspect the manufacturing operations aspect of it as well again we have the digital twin of the complete operations out there and we can simulate the whole manufacturing processes manufacturing operations in the digital world whether it is an augmented reality virtual reality and you know, connecting the people from the factory connecting the shop floor to the top floor all these things can be simulated before you really manufacture the part in the, in the physical world the measurements can also be done and as a back loop where you can learn it every stage and ensure that we get it right the first time taking it forward to the inspection department you know we can you know or the integrated enterprise operations as i really kind of talked about you we are connect the all these different divisions different enterprise applications through the iot platform called exalt which can actually provide the data and information the way it is required so the different applications can be kind of integrated it can do advanced data analytics we have edge computing cloud computing and you know integrate your standard applications like the sap oracle salesforce microsoft and ensure that all these things can happen in a safe and a secure way so we need to take care of the cyber security issues as well and we can help in that aspect as well next going to the inspection department this has always been a major major strength of hexagon we have uh, high accuracy cnc machines as the stationary cnc machines the portable cnc machines the uh, non contact measuring machines the the leica trackers and of course the new blade runner which is similar to a face recognition technology what you see on the iphone so we could really kind of measure up to 1/10th of a micron and as i said earlier the proof of the pudding is in the eating it's very important for the inspection department to be integrated across this whole thing so that the feedback and the knowledge that we get from the inspection department goes back all the way to the design and the validation department so that we can reduce the number of iterations that we take to produce the best quality part in the shortest time frame that we really have and ultimately uh, putting all these data that is generated in the various department uh, to use in the analytics space and the artificial intelligence engine that we have within the organization so we have the knowledge that, that we that we take and uh, this is what i said if many of the simulations that we do that kind of a knowledge is embedded in the machine and if the machine is encountering a new uh, external environment it should be able to take the learnings of all the previous simulations and behave in the right way uh, you know in the, in the in an environment which is not really simulated earlier we we can we can go ahead and take this whole aspect into in not only getting the right uh, quality part at the shortest time we can also optimize this whole part uh, together we essence the concept like the generative design to ensure that you are getting the right part the most optimal part you know the lightweight part 
have uh, taken care of all the uh, different stimulus external environment that it has to face. Uh, this is the best optimized part in, in the given circumstances out there. So this whole concept, you know, the engineering world, the manufacturing world, the validation world, this, the manufacturing simulation, the validation, the physical factory, the physical world, all these things need to be really connect, connected. And the data that is generated across all these divisions should be put into proper use so that the, in the, in the digital factory world, the machines behave the way we want to behave. So just giving you a couple of uh, brief examples. So this is an example of a die design or the die, or the, uh, die manufacturing or die stamping kind of an application. So if you really look at it, the first prototype parts can be measured and the stresses associated with the assembly can be simulated rather than measured in the real world. So if this is a virtual, virtual assembly as we kind of really kind of talk about. And based on the simulation results, the changes to the stamping walls can be calculated rather than estimated, giving a much higher chance of getting it right in the next iteration. This reduces the number of iterations needed and also accelerates each iteration, dramatically reducing the time to market for a new design. And this saves a huge amount of money and also allows manufacturers to offer more variety and more complex designs to satisfy the customer. So another example is the gearbox design. And this is again where you can take the information from the uh, physical world, go to the digital world. And in this particular case, even the noise, as you know, uh, that gets generated, we can kind of see what materials can we use to ensure that some of these noises can be minimized and we can have an effective design, effective farm equipment out there in the market. So extending this to mon monitoring in the field of service life and design, we can take it further into the actual form. How do we ensure that not only the design engineering, manufacturing, inspection, but how do we have the service life to also take in, to also take in care? So here I have a brief video on the hexagon agriculture aspect of it. What exactly we do? How do we help the farmer to ensure that the yields are higher, to ensure that the decision to be taken when the uh, crops have to be sowed, when the crops have to be harvested, how the pesticide has to be sprayed, what are, the, what are the different techniques that we can actually use. And this whole thing can be simulated again, as I said, using our hexagon agriculture applications and implemented this in the uh, real time. So the plant planning can be done, the operation planning can be done, the logistic planning, and ultimately this whole concept of uh, uh, how do we ensure that we help on the, not only on the uh, the equipment side, also on the farm side. So we can connect all these different divisions, we can synchronize and we can optimize. This is the direction that we're taking in the agriculture space. So this is uh, again, the application that I was talking about, how do we ensure that the live health machine data can be captured and the predictive maintenance can be done so that the downtime is minimized. So the machine should actually kind of give a feedback that it's going to fail after certain cycles and the input is actually taken, we replace the machine before it actually kind of fails. So this is where we connect the, the, the other aspects of the design also to the maintenance side. So how do you implement all these things? Uh, you know, uh, there is no big bank approach. I would really recommend various organizations to think big, start small and scale fast. So you can start with digitizing your various processes, start with digitizing your activities, uh, take care of your operations, and finally, the digital twin, ensure that you have a digital twin for every process, for every product that, that, you are, that you're designing and manufacturing in your organization. And it's extremely important at this point of time, the manufacturing isn't just about within the four walls of a factory. The manufacturing ecosystem should be one or many facilities, including our OEMs and the suppliers with contributors working remotely to play the role in the development of a product from concept to reality. So Hexagon provides solution for design and engineering, production and methodology, all of which provide data that can help manufacturers to improve the processes. Each of these functions of your manufacturing ecosystem can in their own right be made smarter. And we have solutions to help you to do this. However, the real potential we see here is how do we use the data to bring these functions closer together enable real-time feedback loops, driving continuous improvements to improve quality, productivity, efficiency. Ultimately, we want 
to move the manufacturing closer to first time right so the value from this smart connected manufacturing is to improve your asset efficiency improve your quality reduce your cost and finally improve safety and sustainability so we want to ensure that sustainability is definitely one of the key focus if you really look at the latest annual report we have a chairman focusing a lot on sustainability we want to ensure that we do well but we do good as well so we want to ensure whatever we do we want the we want to create a sustainable planet planet the sustainable growth to a business as well as to the ecosystem we believe growth doesn't have to be at the expense of the planet and when we do well boosting efficiency of productivity and quality outcomes at scale we do good for the planet so this is essentially smart connected factory this is this is what i wanted to kind of talk about if you have any questions let me know i really want to thank et auto for giving me an opportunity to present this and i'm open to any question and answer from the audience out there thank you once again thank you so much